Greetings. I have interfered with your television signals to inform you of my intention to command and dominate your everyday lives. You are now all completely and totally under my control. Whew, I thought something was wrong with the TV. Welcome, everybody. Uh, this is Thorn with the Game Design Lexicon, making up for the stream that I missed earlier today. You'll have to apologize, or you'll have to accept my apology here. I'm fighting exhaustion, so I'm going to be a little low energy. I certainly uh, apologize for it ahead of time, but I'm here. I'm here, and uh, and what the hell are you staring at? We're going to play some games of cud. Um, I've been enjoying this build that I've been pl that I've been playing. Uh, I downloaded a few uh, mods, made sure my current mods are updated, and uh, really been having fun with it. Re really been having fun with it. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do that same one again. Um, what is all this? Oh yeah, it's um, new, and we're gonna do a super mutant. That's uh, not as bad as doing an ultra mutant. Ultra mutant would be extremely unbalanced. Um, and mutated human, eh, a little bit, little bit too little. So let's do a brave. Let's see, uh, just in case you weren't uh, catching up with that, a brave gives me plus two agility, hand to hand, uh, which is the one of the mods that I downloaded. Hand to hand is a martial arts style that uh, is modded in. It's it's really interesting, especially if you choose some sort of uh, innate um, weapon you know hand weapon like if you're a if you're a, a true kin you can choose like the the titanium uh hands skeleton hands and which gives you extra damage with your hands that's a really nice too um but i don't like the fact that with those guys i don't get a lot of the other perks so um and, and then um let's see combination strikes which is more hand-to-hand -hand stuff tactics self-discipline wayfaring and we're going to do Chimera to where we're only getting physical mutations because we're not going to be very mental. Let's see. Burrowing Claws. That's going to be our innate weapon. It gives us a 1 to 2 base damage. And even better, it gives us uh, bleeding. Which, honestly, uh, as far as our attacks go, bleeding and our quickness is what makes us uh, us. So let's... Um Gonna do heightened quickness. Gonna do six multiple arms. Night vision, because I hate torches. Dealing with torches is a pain in the ass, though I guess it'd probably be a little easier to deal with when you have six arms. As a matter of fact, well no, no. I just don't like having to deal with it real quick, or you know, at all. Let's see, regeneration, and let's do rough scales for the extra armor. Gives us a little uh little extra armor. So, scaly six arms, uh, faster than normal, claws, and regeneration, right? So, this is our basic build here. Now, with this, our main ability is going to be agility and intelligence. So, we'll jack that up, and then we'll jack up our intelligence to... Which actually makes me think that maybe we should go into tinkering a little later on for a secondary uh, uh, duty. Let's take this up to where there's no penalty... Uh, same with toughness and strength. Gives us four points to go, so let's go ahead and dump that into agility. And I think that should serve us well. Nice and balanced. We uh, neglect ego because we will not be doing any mental uh, mutations, nor do I really care about my haggle ability or dominating the will of other creatures. So, there we go. My brave super mutant humanoid. All my mutations, which you'll notice because I'm a super mutant, I kind of get a little load of more of them at the start, which gives me a little bit of an advantage, but trust me, I'll, I'll still die pretty quick, I'm sure. Okay, name. How about Lasher? Um, actually, let's call myself Scrapes. There we go. So I got them claws. We'll start at the Joppa. Got my coffee, even though it's uh, the middle of the friggin', uh, close to the end of the day. Normally I don't drink coffee this late, because, uh, insomnia, but I woke up like two hours ago, so whatever. Friggin' exhaustion. I would try and explain why I'm exhausted, but that's a little rough. You have to, uh, understand how, how the autism works. 
and you'd have to understand what's going on in my life and honestly I'm just kind of too exhausted to explain it. But we could still enjoy some Caves of Cud because that's what I'd be doing anyway if I wasn't streaming honestly. Uh, just a little bit rougher for me because I gotta keep a conversation going with no one but you know it is what it is. So hopefully somebody will join. This seems to be a pretty popular game for for people to view, so let's uh, chat with Argive. Argive, right? Oh, I actually got that right first off. Um, where can I find the cave? I will return with your knickknack. Okay, so we got our quest. Let's make sure we don't have any extraneous items. Let's see. Martial arts, dashing bandana, all claws, spike steel gauntlets. What the hell do these do, anyway? A, B, and DB modifiers are being averaged across all body parts at the same type. Unarmed attacks performed while this item is equipped cause bleeding. Oh, yeah, that's right. So definitely want to keep that uh, bleeding going. I think last game I was playing, I was getting pissed off with the copper coil mission. Having to kill all those stupid uh, kudzus. Were, and they were just rusting the shit out of everything of mine, and it was really pissing me off. Oh, we got the soothing music. I like the soothing music. Who, who wouldn't like the soothing music? Speaking of soothing music, our music today is Tavlo, uh, the Queen of the Clouds album. Really, really cool uh, pop R&B. Um, fun stuff, fun stuff. So, anyway, let's uh, head up north, heading towards the the the. Um, cave with the weird thingies that they want us to explore. Sorry, mind and no worky. Okay. You have discovered the worship of Kashwamut, legendary hatter. Nice. Oh shit. Oh shit. Wow, shit, that just gave me three, three levels. How nice is that? So let's uh, up that regeneration. Multiple arms, quickness, burrowing claws, generation again, and multiple arms again. I should have got a shit ton of XP there. Self defense, I'm not going to worry about. Or self discipline, not self defense. What's the fasting way? Oh, yeah. I should get that eventually. I got the willpower for it, so it'll be an advantage. Tactics. Most of tactics is kind of useless. Wayfaring might be useful eventually, but really I want the martial arts. Let's get some of this here. Um, actually, oh shit, dude. I just botched it. I could have gotten the two-weapon fight, multi-weapon fighting, and now I just... Uh, oh no, it's 150. That's right. So let's do that. Flurry. Yes! Okay. Unfortunately, we can't get the multi-weapon proficiency, but at least we got multi-weapon fighting. And that'll uh, really start to increase our combat ability. So let's do the martial conditioning. Uh, sure strikes. And we'll worry about combination strikes and martial forms later. That'll at least get our combat going. So we got... Oop, a little later. Or cro crocodile. My spike steel gauntlets were cracked. Great. Okay. Nothing in that chest, really. Hey, wait a second. I want that hat. What's all this? No, no, no. What's this? Wide brimmed hat. It goes over my ba dashing bandana. Eh, why the hell not, right? Too bad this game doesn't have more paper dolling. Uh, nothing in there? Figures. Slender bronze battle axe. Nah, bronze. 
Ooh, Shrine to Gilamed the Second, the Moss Green Glass. The shrine depicts a significant event from the life of the ancient Sultan Gilamed. At noon, under an uncanny citrine sky, the people of Ekamor Tanjil saw an image of the, on the horizon that looked like a mirror bathed in citrine. It was Gilamed the Second, and after he came and left Ekamor Tangil, the people built a monument to him, and thenceforth called him Mirror in Citrine. I'll have to excuse me, my uh, my allergies are really bugging the shit out of me today too. For some reason, I, I do believe it stormed earlier. No, no iron longsword. That's uh, meh. Ooh, there are stairs down, so I do have a place to explore. Oh, there's another another hat over there. And a bunch of chests with absolutely nothing in them. Nothing worthwhile, anyway. Ooh. Torches. Eh, I don't really need them. Not with my, um... Yeah, I'll get the arrows. I'll eventually probably use a bow. Cloth overalls? Sure, why not? Uh, no. Oh, that's it, huh? Mmm, coffee's really good today. I got a really good creamer for it. Do 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 do. What's under here? Oh, slimy slime. Who's the who's the guy in the the mauve coat? Um, did I just step on that slime and not, not do anything to him? Uh, this guy not hostile? Cave spider, neutral. Huh. How oh, weird. I run into that often. Stupid slime. A uh, significant event from the life of the ancient sultan, Euraxis the first. Daybreak on the first day of summer, a babe was found swaddled with a glazed... Prism in each hand by a group of antelopes in Namrod Mance. They took her into their fold and fostered her, and she became known as Euraxis, clear heiress of antelopes. That's a weird thing to become known as. Oi, okay. Sneeze number one. I don't want to desecrate it, just wanted to inspect it. Oh, what, 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 what? Oh, no, 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 what's this? Uh, no. Oh, a leather cap, eh? Oh, I will take all of that. Pickled mushrooms? Yummy. Folded carbide arrow? <laughs> that murmurs pair would be worth a decent amount. What else we got? Copper nugget. Have to make sure we store all on our all our metal shit before we go to um I'll take all that. Well, bronze gauntlet gauntlet. Eh. Doesn't seem to be anywhere else to explore. Who's this guy? Um creatures. Oh, that's the legendary hatter. Hello. Oh. I guess they're asleep. Well, I didn't mean to wake them. Oh, that might, maybe that's why there, there's hats everywhere around here. I'd probably explain that, huh? Do, 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 it's not time. I have finished the step. Travel to Red Rock. What's gonna be here, apes? It's like rock throwing apes, great. Come here, Mr. Baboon. I will bust you up. Ooh. Don't even. Oh, those, those rocks just like nickel and dying to death. Oh. Noise. My genome enters an excited state. I guess we'll do our burrowing claws. We don't have to worry about that one for a few levels now. Mutation points definitely regenerate. Oh no, maybe not. 
So level three, I guess, height quickness. And I guess we can't improve rough scales. Let's go ahead and save that one, because I don't really want to improve night vision any. Oh, wait, we got skills and powers. Multi-weapon fighting. Um, we're going to save it up for that, actually. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Did I fub my... Oh, 21 intelligence. Yeah, I'm going to need to dump that extra point into intelligence, huh? Okay. What the fuck was that all about? Jesus. Knock it off, you jackass. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> like I said, I think I think bleeding is pretty much my guy's main uh, thing. So I need to make sure that I'm getting things that uh, encourage bleeding. Things like uh, wristbands with blades on them. Oh. Excuse you. Gone. I hit two times with my claw, one time with my claw. Yeah, my attacks are getting are already getting pretty uh formidable. But unfortunately, they're only physical attacks, so once I start running into non-physical attack creatures, that will not serve me as well. Oh, looks like I'm hungry. I guess there's not a campfire around. I'll, uh, let's make one. There we go. On to the cave. Uh, of course. Monkey. 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 Don't you know I'm gonna smack the monkey? I don't have shocking powers, so. While Peter Gabriel can be helpful in some aspects, certainly not in that one. Excuse me. Oh, this one's, uh. Oh, that one's kind of rough. Noise. Uh, ooh, name my wide brim hat. Choose a random name from the bloody shrewd baboons culture. Yeah, let's do that. And let's make it dark red. Ooh, hoo, hoo, ha, ha. Nice. Love naming my hats. Come here. Oh. Why is the goat not coming after me? Come here, goat. Boop. 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 Now you should be bleeding like a son of a bitch, right? Yep. Oh, stop running from me. I hate how they run from you as long as they got rocks. Just sit here and regenerate, guys. I regenerate faster than you can damage me. Now I'll uh, kick into meditation here. Now that you run out of rocks, what are you going to do? Again, a note dam. I'm not chasing after you assholes. Go ahead and throw them all at me. 
there we go. What am I standing in? Oh. Wrong button there. Oh, I'm standing in a puddle of my own blood. Great. and choose this multi-weapon and jack up our thing to 20. Yes, and that'll, that'll greatly increase our combat prowess too. Oh shit, I've got uh, mutations. Regeneration. Multiple arms. Yeah, let's do high equipment. Why not? That'll leave us two extra, which I don't think we can spend anywhere. Just save them for now, huh? Whoa. What the fuck was that all about? Yep. Mess the ball. Oh no, not a slime cave. I hate walking around in slime. Luckily, the oh, the spiders usually aren't hostile. They usually are, I guess. Gone. Dude, I hate slime caves, man. Why can't it just be uh, snap jaws or something? No, I gotta get covered in slime. He slimed me. Oh, what's this? I'll take that, and I'll take that. It's steel, it's worth money. What's my inventory uh, carry capacity going at? 285. Huh. Should probably grab me a chest before I head out so I have a place to um, store my stuff somewhere. Finally found me a snap jaw. Little shit's running from me, but squish. Take those wooden arrows. Got another short bow. Let's uh, put that right. Upper right missile weapon. I can equip three missile weapons, which is kind of awesome. Uh, ch eventually choose a Kimbo, which will give me a really nice um, missile skill once I get that. Oh. God damn it, he threw a frozen solid thingy at me. Can I attack? No. God damn it. How do I tell? Oh, frozen. There we go. Set of cloth overalls, iron dagger. Pull up that copper nugget. What else is here? Just a bunch of iron shit. Oop. Let's see. Dude, that noise is gross. And there's all sorts of fluids down here. Why can't I have a cave without fluids? Let's go ahead and take that other short bow, huh? Right mid weapon section. Oh, the wrist blade. Gotta have the wrist blade. Bonk. That'll give me even more bleeding. The more bleeding, the better. I 
taking a look at that statue. Oh, there we go. Trying to fix a significant event in the life of the ancient Sultan Rashef. One star evening, a babe was found swaddled with its mouth full of circuits. Gross. By a Badles in Red Rock. They took him to their fold and fostered him, and he became known as Rashef, the coiled lamb of Badles. Well, that's special. Whoa. Guys, all like smash it, smash it, break it. Okay. Looks like the slime's uh, abated. Probably gonna have to find something to wash myself off with. Nope. So much for the slime abating. Uh, what? I'm nowhere near that guy. Why am I seeing him from over here? Okay. Where'd you come from? Uh, black robes, bronze rapier. Yeah, that's a negatory. Ooh, that bath's all wet. My spike steel gauntlets were cracked. Oh, this is a warlord. This guy's gonna be tough. Maybe not. What do we got here? Bark armor, bloody trash. Let's meditate a little here. There we go. Oh, we could use that campfire, actually. Where is that? Oh, that's on the way. Oh, hey. Hey, you. What are you, sneaking up on me, you little shit? And then I got this guy. Was over here? Iron dagger? No, not worth it. Uh, I guess I'll get that bloody wet short bow. And arm it on my last set of arms. Er, what? Upper, left, mid. Right. And lower. Bit. Do I got another one? Did I, I didn't choose eight arms, did I? Nah, I only got six, so, so what the hell. Uh, right missile, right missile, right missile. Yeah, I got one more missile thing. How's that? Huh. Upper right missile. This is confusing. Upper left, right mid, left mid, right mid, left mid. So these are repeats. So there's something wrong. It's actually giving me uh, eight hands when I only have six. Must be a bug in the uh, mod. Or maybe I'm just reading it incorrectly. Oh, there's a steel something or other there. Oh, a sun and moon mask. Oh, it's a toolkit. Let's grab that. No, 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 no. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I don't want to speak to him. I just want to smash his face. Uh, toolkit. Get. Be able to use that eventually. Where are you, where are you coming from? Uh, might as well grab that wet short bow, huh? Since I do have another, like, even if it's illegitimate place to wield it. Select ammo. There we go. Oh, I am hungry. There was a campfire over right there. Ooh, it engraved a mace. I will look at it. Uh, in 470 BR, Euraxis II, husband of Telnar Tishar, husband to Magishan, the perpetual shade of Saval Homestead, Clock snipper died of natural causes. He was 121 years old. Nice. I love that history. And uh, that's going to be a break. This is Thorn with the Game Design Lexicon. We're currently playing Caves of Cut on a nice 
low energy Friday night stream. Our music for the night is Tuv Low. We're going to play one song break here and I'm going to stretch my bones and I will be right back. <laughs> 